Kentucky House Democrats today are calling on State Representative Savannah Maddox, a Republican, to apologize after Sunday's rally where a protester hanged Governor Andy Bashir in effigy. She's seen in a photograph with the protester who hung the effigy. But Maddox was not at the rally. Today she denounced the actions to our Dennis Tang and defended those criticizing the governor's actions during the pandemic. Stand in unison with the House Majority Caucus in condemning any act of hatred in the context of political discourse. But State Representative Savannah Maddox says she wasn't at Sunday's protest in Frankfurt when a protester hung Governor Andy Bashir in effigy. State lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have condemned the act, but Maddox has drawn criticism both from Democratic lawmakers and those on social media for a photo shared on Twitter of her with a protester from the group believed to have been behind the effigy. A photo Maddox says was from an earlier rally last month. I am in no way affiliated or involved with that gentleman or any of the activities that transpired. In a news conference Wednesday afternoon, Kentucky House Democrats called for Maddox to apologize and for House Republicans to begin a formal censure process, saying her actions at the earlier rally led to this Sunday's events. I call on my colleagues in the House, especially Representative Maddox, to stop fanning the flames. Earlier this afternoon, Maddox said she had attended the earlier rallies to give a voice to those suffering from the economic impact of the coronavirus closures and the problems with the state's unemployment benefits system, a message she said has now been obstructed due to the protesters' actions. I think that what transpired on Sunday is not reflective of the greater movement at large to send a clear and strong message to the governor, but that Kentuckians are tired of being out of work. In Frankfurt, Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.